hello welcome back so today we were doing a maintenance on this uh, Lenox rooftop package unit and on heating side and this unit had issue it's not firing and I just wanted to shoot a video to troubleshoot so what is the issue with that unit so let's give it a try so I'll re I have already turned a jump between WN and R and let's give it a try the Venta motor is loud looks like a partially bearing are seizing and this is our main ignition control board it's very loud LED on the ignition control board is not on and these are the list of the alarms so nothing is going on no ignition nothing so the problem with that unit is uh, it doesn't the, even the wiring diagram is faded up and I have wrote down the serial number and the unit uh, description here, model and serial number. And outside label is completely gone. But the good thing was I was able to found a manual. It was uh, lying there and we will try to get a proper wiring diagram from the manual and we will troubleshoot how it is uh, wired the heating side okay so this is the manual of that unit and this section we got the wiring diagram here and if we follow because i have jumped between r to w1 and this is the heat heat one w1 the wire is going here if you follow that it is going to a11 looks like that kind of is a plug and from here it's going to w1 yeah k77 looks like a relay and if we see the description here yeah here k77 it says relay heat one okay so a11 the other side of the wiring diagram is continue here so a11 k77 and this is number one and the number one is continue on the other page if we follow that it is going to here the first which is s10 and what is S10? It says switch limit relay primary gas. So it's a primary limit. And after that it is going to S21. So S21 is limit secondary. And after that it is going to S47. What is S47? 47 is a flame rollout and after that it is going to S18 and what is S18 switch combustion air blower proof looks like a pressure switch and after that it is going to S51 and there is a sign this triangle sign so that means it's optional so we just ignore that and A3 is going to A3 and what is A3 control control burner so, so means this is the ignition control so we did not have any LED blinking on the 
ignition control so we are losing 24 volt power in one of these safeties primary limit secondary limit pressure switch and rollout switch these all safeties are connected into series and after that if all all were closed then it is going to the power is going to a3 ignition control board so we are losing a 24 volts in one of the safeties here so so we'll check that in in our unit so we'll check with our multimeter so power is off now so this is our a winter motor it, it was making a loud noise so that's gonna re ruin our voice here so what i'm doing i'm gonna disconnect that uh, motor and we're gonna jump that pressure switch which is uh, mentioned in the wiring diagram as a air proving switch so we're gonna jump it out and we're gonna bypass that uh, winter motor so to do th so this is the relay so we have two wire the main high voltage going to the motor and one of the wire here the red wire if you follow the red wire this is connected to that k13 relay which says relay combustion air blower which means this one so what we can do so if we see below here sorry if we see below here so these two wire 24 volt uh coming out from our coming out from our w1 signal which we already jumped between r to w1 so we're gonna disconnect one of this power uh, i think this one uh, all our thimbles are corroded so we're gonna put somewhere here so this is just for troubleshooting and of course we have to turn off the gas So, if we turn on the power now, our venter motor will not turn on and we have to jump this pressure switch. Okay, so first we understand how the uh, sequence of operation of this unit. So, the thermostat between R and the switch of the thermostat between R and W1 closes on a heat call and which we already jumped it out that with my red, wire, red jumper and then the power goes to that relay and that closes uh, the switch that to, between two red wire and the venter motor start rotates and the air proving switch this one is closed and then all the other safety is like this is the rollout switch here and the primary and the secondary limit port are in the heat exchanger size heat heat exchanger side so and when the uh, rollout switch pressure air proving switch both high limits all are closed then the power goes to this ignition board and then it uh, sends the signal to the gas valve and the igniter this is the igniter and then the unit fired up so for this demonstration i have already taken out the the combustion uh, sorry the venter motor rel relay so it will the motor will not turn on, turn on because it's very loud and this jumper i'm gonna insert between these two pressure switch wire but before that i'm gonna turn on the power and check if we are really getting 24 volt in one of these lead Okay, let's turn on the power. Our winter motor shouldn't start. Okay, yes. The winter motor is not started. Okay, so next thing we're gonna check one 24 volt in one of this wire. Okay, so I have inserted my multimeter probe between these two wire, pressure switch wire. It's nothing. So it means we have disconnected this uh, relays the power is not going to the relay the relay is not activated but the, this the, the red wire is for high voltage i think this also uh, the other side of the these two white wire these are for the 24 volt 
so I think we have to uh, reconnect that relay and we have to pull that red wire one of the red wires so that the ventilator motor will not start but uh, the other two white wire uh, the switch between these two wires should close and then we will have a 24 volt between these two wires okay so I have uh, reconnected that uh, coil voltage wire and now I have pulled one of the red wire so the winter motor will not start but we will have supply between these two wire let's turn on yes the motor is not started okay so we are getting a weird voltage 7.4 I think we have to check uh, uh, wire to the ground okay so my other lead of the multimeter is to the touching to the metal and this in, the other uh, the black wire is inserted to the one of the wire of the pressure switch now we are getting a 24 a 26 volt okay so so we're gonna buy we're gonna jump the between these two wire and then we'll test if we have any issues with the other safeties okay I have jumped between these two wire we ensure that one of the wire is getting 24 volt okay so next thing we have to check this rollout switch okay so I have I'm checking the 24 volt across this uh, rollout switch and we have 26 volt so that means our switch is, rollout switch is open and our primary and secondary high limit is closed so if we jump that rollout switch then we will have power to that ignition control board and the the unit is supposed to fire that okay so i'm jumping this uh, rollout switch see the LED is blinking so we will have ignition but I have turned off the gas this is just for the testing purpose because I have jumped out uh, pressure switch all the safeties are closed we should have ignition spark come on oh look like a loose connection yeah now it's on I'm just moving a little bit out because if there would be a gas like up to this section that's the spark igniter okay so I have reinserted my uh, blower incoming power supply on that relay and put back the pressure switch wires on the pressure switch but this rollout is rollout switch is jumped so I'm gonna turn on the gas and okay turn on the power the unit is units should fire yeah. it's very loud so of course that motor is gone and we have two issues the motor is gone and the second one is the rollout switcher the motor is still working but that's gonna stop We have ignition. So we we're gonna recommend that customer rollout switch and uh, the winter motor. 
So I'm gonna turn off the power and see. We'll see that. Uh, yeah, the bearings are gone. Let's turn off. Yeah, it is stopping like uh, very rotating very hard. Hello, so we are back with our new Vendor motor and uh, our donut switch. So we're gonna replace both of them and test the unit. Okay, so this is uh, our new motor and this is the roller switch and we're gonna replace okay so this connector looks like a very rusty and not making a good contact but this, this switch was gone so i'm gonna replace these two connectors with a new one okay so our new roller switch is installed with the new wire connector and now we're gonna remove the old venter motor and replace it with the new one. Okay, so all the screws are the screw has been removed, but still the motor is not coming out because some some odd guy from has put uh, the layer of his high temperature silicon there in between the motor and the mounting surface uh, it's gonna be hard to take it out okay with a lot of effort I was able to successful to take it out and now it's not really rotating it's seized it's rotating very hard Okay, let's start the new one. Okay, so the motor has been installed and wire has been connected properly and wrapped up. And now we're gonna test its uh, wire. Okay, so I have put my jumper between R to W1. Turn the power on. It's running very smooth. That's this great for the fire. That's the only one. Okay, so we have ignition. So I also have replaced that hose for pressure switch. Okay, everything is running fine. Blower contactor is pulled in, and the unit is fine. So thanks for watching. See you next time.